Hey friends, my name is Siddharth and a software developer. Today I'm going to show you how to implement a bubble sort algorithm. Bubble sort is an algorithm to rearrange all the elements in ascending or descending order. We are going to sort the elements in ascending order for this example. This is my code. So these are the elements. I'm going to store it all inside an array A. I'm also going to use another temp value data type int. I have a for loop over here. This for loop simply loops through all the values, all the elements and prints on the console. Our bubble sort algorithm starts from here. For bubble sort algorithm, we are going to need two for loops. The first for loop would loop through all of the elements. The second loop would also loop through all the elements, but it will actually swap the values. Once the swapping is done, uh, we get everything stored in our array, the sorted values, and we are going to use another for each. Uh, we are going to loop through all of the integer values into A and uh, uh, print in our console. So let's see in action how it is actually how it actually works. So I'm going to add a breakpoint over here. Hit execute. So I'm in the first loop right now. I'm going to start with the zeroth index. Zeroth index is less than a of length, which is seven, seven minus one, six. So zero is less than six inside the loop. Same thing, zero less than six, less than six inside the, inside the loop. Now a of i, which is the zeroth index, if it is greater than a of i plus 1, I'm going to swap the values. So what do I have a of 0th, which is 3, and a of i plus 1, which is 2. So if a of i, that is that is 2, I'm sorry, 3, if a of i is 3, is greater than 2, I'm going to go inside the loop, inside the if condition, the a of i plus 1, which is 2, I'm going to store in my temp variable. So the 2, I'm going to remove this here and add it in my temp variable. a of i, which is 3, I'm going to add 3, I'm going to assign it to a i plus 1. So I'm going to remove 3 over from here and add it right here. The last step would be whatever value I have in the temp, I would add it to the zeroth index. So I'm going to remove this and assign it to the zeroth index. So I have sorted some of it. If I check A of, so you will see that two, three, these are sorted. These are still the same. I'm going to loop again. Now, incremented by 1, 1 is less than 7, yes, uh, it will loop. Now, a of i, which is the first index, and a of i plus 1, which would be the seventh index. I'm going to compare these values. Is a of i, which is 3, greater than 7? Uh, it's false, so it would not go inside the if condition. It would skip it next one increment 2 now 2 is greater than 7 uh, 2 is less than 7 inside the if condition we are comparing these two values 7 and 5 if a of i which is 7 if it is 7 is greater than 5 we could we go inside the if condition a of i plus 1 5 i'm going to add it in the temp value so t would be I'm going to a, a of i, uh, the value that I have, I'm going to assign it to i plus 1. So I'm going to remove this uh, 7 and add it over here. Last would be the time value. Uh, I would store it in the a of i, which is the second index. So I'm going to remove 5 from here and add it over here. Now if I check the array, you should see that 
2, 3, 5 and 7 are sorted, 8, 4, 1, still the same. So this way it will loop through all the values. It will loop, loop. Once this is looped, we're going to get out of this for loop and back to the for loop above. Now uh, our index is 1, so 3. 3 would be compared with all of these values. Once the swapping is done, 5. 5 would be compared with all of the values here and it would be sorted. So that way we implement bubble sort. I'm going to remove the breakpoint from here and hit execute. And here we see the array is sorted. These are our first value. These are the value that I'm printing through this console.write line. And after sorting, I'm storing whatever value I have in A. I'm using a for each and uh, printing all the values in my console. So these are my sorted values. Thank you.